Hello again, it's now time for Mission, and Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid, and the EU. The Christian Health Association of Ghana, Die Hard Fan Club of Daddy Lumba, and a philanthropist have come together to support 19-year-old twins, James and John Tete, who are battling mental illness and have special needs. Well, this is after TV3 Mission aired the plight of the twins, who had been chained to a post at home. On July 2 this year, TV3 brought to you the story of twins James and John Tete who have multiple disability and are battling mental illness. The twins who ate once a day, lived under deteriorating conditions and had been chained to a post for two years. I'm appealing to Ghanaians to come to our aid, especially in getting quality mental health care for the boys. Imagine. Two weeks after the report, help has come to the twins and their grandmother. <laughs> the Christian Health Association of Ghana, a philanthropist and the Die Hard Fan Club of Daddy Lumba will provide mental health care to the twins with special needs. A psychiatrist and nurse from the St. Martin's the Porous Catholic Hospital at Agomanya will attend to the twins daily. I was watching your news 360 on TV3 and I saw this story. I got touched by it. So I contacted a Christian Health Association of Ghana, the deputy executive director of CHAG, and he said, okay, we can do something about it. So they've donated drugs to keep them, let me say, for the rest of their lives. By three months' time, we hope to come back and everything will be okay. Okay. We wouldn't see them in this condition. They will be up the chain doing everything by themselves. We are thinking about enrolling them at Jolu Special School after they've been off from the chain. We will come here very early in the morning and see to it that they have been fed and then we make sure that the regular medications that we have to give to them will be given to them and then we will be paying visit to them every evening to see how their sleeping pattern is and then we will make sure that we supply them with the mentat, the lagatal injections and then we calm them and then we do frequent psychotherapy to help them. The Die Hard Fan Club of Dad Lumba and the philanthropists also made donations to the family which included clothing, provisions and toiletries. They also donated an undisclosed amount of money to their grandmother Cecilia Tete to enable her start a business. We watched a video or a documentary which was uh, you know, presented by TV3 and we got touched with the story so we decided in our own small way to partner with other organizations to see how best we can also bring a smile on the faces of our twin brothers and that is why we are here today so we are doing this presentation on behalf of die hard fan club of daddy lumba cecilia tete was visibly emotional and grateful for the gesture <laughs> Ganene api hamino ehi. Me chumika maune eji loko nepe mini egbame. Thank you so much for the donations. God bless you. Ebe noko. Ena no yekabuale ena mo mobo. Ne jom ke bam ne enge emio. Meanwhile, the bedroom of the twins, which got bent, will be renovated. Mission will continue to monitor the progress of the boys and bring updates to viewers. Porsche Gabo, TV3 News, Odomase Krobo, Eastern Region. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.